In Argentina's winemaking region of Mendoza, producers are excited about the quality of their latest vintage. But in the context of the pandemic, to promote their wines globally, they've gone fully online. We are really happy what we, uh, what, what we have done uh, so far in, in, in the last year. And we think this is, this is going to be a capability that we will use uh, in the long run. Because, you know, promotion uh, is going to be digital uh, uh, in the long run. And what happens with COVID is just a faster adoption. Maybe the things that would have happened in five years happen in, uh, in three months. Participating in China's Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, could help winemakers here. Argentina is the world's fifth largest wine producer and has been among the top 10 wine exporters to China. But the logistics of getting their wine to consumers remains a problem. Latin America's third largest economy is in need of major infrastructure investment. Joining BRI could be a solution. Argentina's president told Chinese President Xi Jinping last year that Buenos Aires is prepared to start negotiating membership. Alberto Fernandez was due to travel to China in May, during which Argentina was expected to formally join the Belt and Road Initiative. That visit was postponed and Argentina's president toured Europe, looking to drum up support for his country's negotiations with the International Monetary Fund. Argentina's sovereign debt could get in the way of a BRI deal. The country's immediate economic future partly depends on talks to renegotiate repayment of its $44 billion loan from the IMF. Many analysts say the country walks a fine diplomatic line, balancing relations with the United States while also accepting new credit and investment from China. The current government is very interested in what China offers because we don't have a United States that is offering, for example, health cooperation. We don't have the United States offering the investment in infrastructure. The Chinese companies are. China already has major investments in Argentina, from hydroelectric projects in Patagonia to revamping an ailing railway network. And in an interview with CGTN, Argentina's production minister explained the plan for a gradual shift to a green economy, harnessing the potential of the country's vast lithium reserves to transition to electric mobility. And the plan hinges on China's support. We aspire to Argentina having factories that make batteries and electric vehicles here for South America and the region. This, of course, would be with Chinese investment and companies that have the technology and capacity to do this and which are interested in this development in Argentina. Joining the Belt and Road Initiative would open up new avenues of finance and investment for Argentina, but Argentina has yet to confirm a date of when it will do so. Joel Richards for CGTN in Buenos Aires.